It's, it's confusing. Change targets. X. Up and down. Because A is run and X is shoots. LT and And game screen. I know that's... I love those... I love those sound effects. Look at that. Look at Wesker's face in the fart gas. He's like, ooh, I'm evil. <laughs> ooh, they did things to me. They made me into a fart gas monster. They made me into a super powered guy and then they hurt my eyeball. I really love the Code Veronica novel. Shut up! It's actually really good. It's one of my favorite ones. No, it's not. I know. I None like of it. them are good. Well, good in the series. Yeah. So this was supposed to be Resident Evil Three. But then they're then they're like, oh wait, we don't want to piss off everyone that isn't Sega. Yeah. So what they yeah. did is they came across this really weird thing. It's like Resident Evil games that are on the PlayStation will be numbered. Yes. And uh, Resident Evil games that are not will have subtitles. So instead of Resident Evil Last Escape, you have Resident Evil 3. Yes. Instead of Resident Evil 3, you but have Resident Evil Code Veronica. Although Last Escape is a better title than just Resident Evil Well, in Japan 3. it was Resident Evil 3 Last Escape. But why didn't they just name that, it that? That's why at the end of the first cutscene she says, This is my, my la last, last escape. escape. And you're yeah. like, oh. I remember when this, this FMV came out, everyone just... Lost freaked their out. Shit. This was shown on X Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy yeah. Tallarico was like, "Yo, check this shit out." We went, "Whoa!" And then Tommy Tallarico was like, "Too bad the music's garbage because it's made in Japan." So the music's super good in this game. Yeah, but Tommy Tallarico has set, has gone on record saying KOF has the worst music of all time. Oh, shut up, Tommy Tallarico. It's true. Wow, this looks good. It looks good. This looks better than some games today. <laughs> this this, this cutscene was just like, everyone's mind was exploding. And hey, you guys remember The Matrix? Yeah, I do. <laughs> the Matrix is cool. And you're like, this isn't my dad's Resident Evil. Yeah, no, it's She's not running from a helicopter. Yeah, my dad used to play the old Resident Evil spot three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when my dad, uh, I got Resident Evil 3 for Christmas. And I was like, I don't know, like 13 or something. And, he, and I'm playing it on the big TV because it's Christmas, right? And you got, you got to do that. And he looks at like he looks at me just walking through an area with Jill Valentine. He's like, I don't understand why you need to guy keep making these video games. You're never gonna make it look better than that. Yeah, yeah, no. And I went, oh, you're gonna feel dumb in 20 years, Dad. And he's like, what? No, I was on the same thing where I was like, I think maybe not this, but it was some other survival horror title. This cutscene has been upscaled terribly on I the I want to say Silent Hill 2, where I was like, games are never going to look better than that. No, seriously, it's the possible. compression on this is unbelievably bad. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Capcom. Because I loaded up the PS3 version earlier, and it does not look like this. Well, there's no reason to compress this on the P60. Shut up. Is there... I don't think there is, not anymore at least. This is that cool, the, the coolest part in Resident Evil history that they totally stole for the second Resident Evil movie. Oh my god, that's true, they totally did that. Or you mean when they just made Red Queen canon? Yeah. And then, and then she's like, ooh! Oh, look at that hair, it looks so good! And then she's like, no! I don't want to go to prison! Oh. Wait, that, what? That's stupid! Thanks, Juan. Thanks for catching me. That makes no sense! It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> So the Resident Evil CV or CVX always had a, uh, had a really huge problem with me because you go from that to her waking up in the cell and then as soon as you walk out the entire place is already overrun with zombies and there, there's not like they don't properly explain what happened. Yeah, it's a rival corporation. Well, maybe I'm thinking they the explain novel. that way later in the game uh, that yeah. Wesker's bros attacked the island and the virus got loose. Yeah, but like when you just walk out and for the first like five hours, six hours, it's like, wh why is this military bitch just covered because, in zombies? Because they're trying to give it a complex mystery. Plot. A complex mystery? No, that's not it. No, it is. And then she like this. This cutscene's not compressed like the other one. Yeah. See, it looks super good. Oh, it's the evil zombie. No, it's one. And he's gonna come back in. He's gonna be like, "Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna let you die in the the grass time with for zombies. Some, time for some prison invasions. 
Resident Invasions is one of the one invasions. Bring I Claire think. Redfield back to fucking Resident Evil. Yeah, she was in Dark Side Chronicles. What the fuck happened in RE6 that Claire was not there? She went back to college, idiot. That's so. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. She super does not. So then, what does she do? She just disappears from the story. Does she goes to college. Do she Why would she be in the story? She doesn't go college. to college. Okay, then what does she do? She just she disappears of the story. Because she went to college. She's doing some environmental protest work in, in the in degeneration. For her college. No, not for college. <laughs> the the phrase she's doing it for college, college apply does not me. apply to Claire Redfield. Her uh, brother is off globe trotting and punching boulders, and her man crush Leon. Who is everyone's man crush because he's so hot. Yeah, it's true. Is, is then the end of Degeneration so infuriating. It's, it's so one infuriating. Of the worst. I think I think that Leigh Alexander is annoying, but she had a really good point that one year on the bomb cast where she's like, Leon and Claire are like eye fucking each other on a on a cliff. Right. And they're like, Hey, See maybe I should call you sometime. And she's like, Hey Leon, how about we go fuck? And he goes, oh, I love Ada. <laughs> and he just runs away. Or Leon comes on to the... the no, wait, that, I fucked that up. It's not Claire, it's some other hot girl. It's the officer lady with the big boobs. Yeah. That's all I remember about her. But then Claire's and then like... In, okay, uh, please tell me uh, if you can remember off the top of your head. Yeah, What is I the remember. name of the second movie? The, the second CG movie? Oh, God. I watched it. The I remember first what one's it's called. Degeneration. Yeah, I, I remember what the, uh, the other one's called. But let's oh, see. It's another generic word. Yeah, it's ex- uh, extinction. It aftermath. is not. No. What those is are the it? movies. What is it? Damnation. Damnation. And Yo, that movie's actually like. It's not as bad. It's at least stuff happens. The, yeah. Spoilers for that movie because you're not gonna watch it unless I tell you this, right? But. Rodrigo. When you Juan. get to the end of Damnation, there's a sick action sequence it's, where Leon totally fights a bunch of Mr. It's, X's. It's almost too sick. It's I it's say. it's fan service for fan service. And it's sake. right on the daylight, which is weird. Yeah. Movie. And then like a tank shoots them and Ada's doing kung fu shit. Like, name me any Resident Evil game where shit tons of shit happens in the daylight. <laughs> that <laughs> in Africa. Oh, your cat's making me sneeze. Oh, oh I hope so. That's oh, what I got a, it for. This is a great idea. Yeah. You have saves on here? Yeah. <laughs> well, not anymore, you don't. Oh, that's fine. Well, I just don't want to. I, I got this for free anyway. I don't want to go through that sequence again. Wow. We've made almost no prob- progress. Problem. But here's the deal with CVX. I'm not a big fan of it. You've said it such. It's super long, though, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, and it's hu- super huge and ambitious. I just don't like the run speed and some of the, the enemy designs. But she's really fast. But, like, I, I go bleh CVX, but that's in comparison to, like, RE1, RE2, RE3, and Remake. Sure. Which are some of my favorite games ever, right? The one thing we're, one thing it does have, and people might notice me testing it out, is this knife. It looks like a, the best knife lunge ever. It looks like maybe the best knife in video games is the CVX. Is, I guess, Juan's knife yep. is the best knife in video games. Because this knife... Will carry you through this game. Oh god, I can't. Oh. This knife is nuts. By the way, they totally redid all the lighting. Yeah, no, it's this super ver- obvious. In this version, yeah, they totally it looks needed way to. Way better. Oh, 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 okay. Like RE4 was just a straight up port. Wow, this is a bad transition. Yeah. Well, but the in-game graphics look better than this now. It's well because of the lighting. I know, but I'm just stating it. Like I'll show you something after that you'll be like, "What? That's confusing." Hey, bro, why did you bury sexless zombies? Well, they cut their junk off before they buried them. <laughs> they were like, so what? The zombies will procreate? Yeah, what? pretty much. <laughs> Well, they, when the zombies eventually do come back to life, we don't want people to be scared of their junk. No. They're going to be scared enough as it is. Do they really need to see zombie junk? Yeah. Do they really need to like, see... So this is what I'm talking about. Like, it just throws you right into it. And you're like, what? What's happening? It's almost as if it's a little more action-y. Do, 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 do. Oh, damn. Oh. God damn. Oh. oh. Fantastic. Great. Excellent. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The, oh my god! And you practiced this before. I right? did! I'm here's the thing about CVX though. It's it's a little weird. It's it's fine. 
So this would be a good avenue to, to show this off. This is as, oh, as, as good as it's going to get, really. Is that this knife is so nuts overpowered. It's so gonzo. It's like that fucking homecoming you knife. You can kill all the zombies! It's super overpowered, it looks like. Why? Why am I having so much trouble? Maybe it's, they rebalanced it for lean. It's all the pressure. They rebalanced it for knife. Yeah, there you go. You hit the first one and then it skips and there's it it feels like a bug. <laughs> like it hits like five times even though it only hits once. It's like the downpour knife. I mean the homecoming knife. Yeah. It is like the homecoming knife. Homecoming knife. dagger, sorry. Look at that idiot! Look at this guy. Thinks he's a cool guy. He's yucking. He's in the middle of yucking. Is animation set to yucky? No, I'm cut I'm killing these guys just so that you know they don't when come I come back when I eventually come back here. That is the this worst. Is, this is not a that great is the worst. place to decide to fight him. Damn it. He's, He's dead. super dead. There's I won. the pool. I won. Uh, the music's like, gotta stop. Gotta stop. <laughs> I love that it's still on fire. I totally did it. Sorry for that terrible knife demonstration, but the fact that I did kill six zombies with a knife in a Resident Evil game, and I only went down uh, to caution, yeah, it does miracle. Whoa! Welcome to the biggest jackass in jackass history. Wait, wait, are, wait you don't mean Steve. You oh. mean the greatest character ever created. You mean the the clear Leonardo DiCaprio ripoff? So, wait, wait, it was it was actually X where they changed his face, was it Yeah, not? they changed his face. Because Was it because of Leonardo did DiCaprio? Did you hear that? Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. Like, that's your introduction to the fucking character. Yeah, like, yeah. fuck him. Okay, what well, bothered me about Steve... She's like, splooshing right now. Other than... She's not. She, I know for a no, fact she, she is. is not. No, she's not. And he's got the hot girl choker. The, 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 yeah, the thing about Steve is that he would have been actually fine... But, well, when I when this came out originally, I'm like, if he didn't have the fucking choker and the leather, like, like wristbands. Like, it's yeah. so off-putting to me. Yeah. This, this was back in the good old days, back when Resident Evil characters had their original voice actors. Yeah. Like, Claire and Leon's RE2 voice actors are fine! In the movies, they changed her voice or the. Paul not? Mercier is fucking Leon, you shit! Yes, and he is. Stop changing him! But I asked a question, was... Was Claire's voice actress the same in the, the two CG, uh, the one Totally, CG absolutely. Movie? Yeah, I think it same was. Same with Leon. Yeah. But in the games, it was different in some cases. Outrageous. I don't want you following me, lady. Oh, man, he's so good. Splooshing. Yeah. She's literally drilling a hole to China with pressurized sploosh. I don't think she is. She is. I took the handgun. I really honestly don't know why you're saying that. So it... Because <laughs> it's you, so not true. Do you forget the end of this game? I don't, but she's not splooshing she now. Sploosh, oh yeah. She splooshes on the on the ride when to Antarctica. When he turns into a giant monster, she no. just... <laughs> she splooshes on the ride to Antarctica. <laughs> that's what was propelling the, the, the plane. Yeah, that's right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it was propelling the plane. It was so plane. weird because when I played it, I was like, wait, why is she now suddenly going for Steve? Because the the they were like let's have a love thing, and yeah, then they and then at, and then they finished the game and they're like whoa whoops we made like the whoops. most hateable character ever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This scene looks way better with the uh, with the new lighting. It does. And so does this next room, which is as far as I practiced. So let's see if I die. All right. Um. Yeah! Oh, that looks so good with a zombie in front of you. When someone booted this up on the Dreamcast for the first time, they probably thought this was like... I was freaking next out. Gen. It was not in widescreen on the Dreamcast, No, though. of course not. That's what you want! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Just a little back. There we go. See, you want to you wanna hit them once with just the tip, right? Why are you hitting downward, though? That's, that's the way it, it does. That, that's the only way it works. Ah, that's how it works because they trip. This is the only. <laughs> this is the only Resident Evil game that. Um, fine. The it's zombies fine. getting knee damage from knives makes them trip. Of course. And the damage is put to a level where you could actually do it. Well, the um, coyote on a box of bullets. Um, and, wow. And so what happens is, is that you hit them once, and that's like ten percent. 
and then the one big swipe is just enough to make them fall. I've never seen the Capcom games suffer from this problem. Like, the same thing with the final fight, like, fucking punch glitch. Yeah. And it's, they're just like, oh, no one will but, ever do but this. But this, this has got to be something they left in because it makes the game way better. Also, there is one thing that's weird about CVX yeah, and the other they... that are not in the other Resident Evil games. And I'm going to get a good... This is a good spot to do it. And that's... She just turns and plays. That looks super good. She, she does lift her heels up slightly. Yeah, that little. But it still looks super shitty. Well, they didn't intend for anyone to use the knife the entire game. It's with all the weapons. They all do that. That's just a regular standing animation. No, no. I mean... Th the, the, it's not like they intend the, the knife to be the de facto weapon. I think just, they did, because like, in the I battle game, know. Wesker just gets the knife. Well, that's because Wesker only needs the knife, or if nothing. Yeah, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they clearly, like, they put the knife in, and they're like, ooh, this knife is super good. Well, I'll just leave it. Let's it's leave fine. it like this. Um, now, you might scoff, but in... This is about escaping, and they're like, oh, what's gonna happen? People are dying, guillotine, and they're being turned into zombies. Doctor is guillotining people in the back rooms. Yeah, that's rough. In, in Dark Side Chronicles, they made Steve way, way less Steve. Yeah. Which was cool. They fixed him? They fixed they him. They westernized him? They westernized him for a western audience. Okay. Balanced for the Now, left. this guy is tough, because he starts, like, you, you can't get a good beat on him. Unless it's a little... Tight here. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. Sometimes it gets tight on the best friends. Ah! Uh oh. He doesn't like oh it. god! Oh god. Well. Can you just dive out of there like Leon? I'm no, not gonna I, die there. Uh, no, dive out of there like Leon. That'd be cool. Yeah, it would be. But she, that came later. She taught Leon. All right. In this game, you she can't. There, there's no soft reload in this game. She probably did teach Leon. What? No. She probably taught Leon, Leon all Leon was do. a badass super cop in the first game. No, and... What? Leon was a badass super cop in RE2? Yeah, he was. No, he's a competent guy, dude. He's a rookie, and he was a fucking badass. Because he slept in! Yeah! <laughs> That's not a badass. No, but he was a badass, That's though. lucky. No, he was, though. I coasted through No, the I don't mean, like... I, I don't mean, like, because of that. I mean, like, Leon in the first game was... Inde undeniably a fucking badass guy shooting guns, killing dudes. He was kicking ass! I don't Because when you say badass, I think of RE4 badass. Well, no, that that's when he, like, evolved. I think of... I th yeah, when he... <laughs> Leon evolved into... Yeah. Like, Leonosaurus? So that's... Like, a, that's an... Oh, this is that, yeah, that's Leonidon. the... Now, now you saw what I was talking about, right? You saw the skipping. Sorry, I'm too busy. You saw the specific damage. I'm too busy thinking about Leonidon. The dude. Dude. Dude! Yeah. That's awesome. RE4 and Pokemon mixed Wait, did them. I get the items I needed? It didn't seem like you got anything. Well, I got these guns. Yeah. Which are guns. terrible! They so look, I'll be using them. They look terrible. They're... They... Don't look, they have a really little shitty muzzle flash that they, looks dumb? They were put into the game because they were like, look, we can make it so that, like... You can shoot at two different targets at the same time. Watch out, it's an ocelot. And then they're terrible. Zombie ocelot. Now he's gonna. Oh, sh oh he's, he's gonna. What's gonna happen? Spooky. So spooks. So spooky. Five spooky. F three spooky, five, five me. me. Now, come on, something happened. It's so, been locked with the other side of the padlock. So I believe I might have talked about this in the RE2 playthrough. Maybe. I've told you this. That was years ago. I told you this several times. That was actually times. years ago. It was actually years ago. Jeez, Matt. Is that when I originally, I like, I played uh, Code Veronica a little bit, like for an hour or two at a friend's house. Yeah. Because he had a Dreamcast. Yeah. And then when it came out on the GameCube, I was like, well, might as well play this. Yeah. And I played it, and it got to the end of the game. Yeah. And the Magnum that had been put in an item box on Rockford. Damn it. Did not transfer to the item box in Antarctica. That's bullshit. That's a bug. And then I got to the, the, the second form of Alexia. And having no more weapons and... Oh, god damn it! Reading about how you really need the Magnum for Alexia... It helps. And not having it... It helps a lot. I was not able to beat her. Like, I tried her a million times. I gave the controllers to my friends. Oh my god! No one could beat it. So I never actually saw the ending. But I read about it in the novel, so I'm sure that's the same. It's pretty much the same. Yeah. So weird that, like, Wesker's just like, Oh my god, you're so fucking hot and useful and so brilliant. I just want to take you and put you in a test tube. Yeah, Wesker's got weird stuff going on with his dick. 
If it even is his anymore. Yeah, it is. Well, not anymore because he's dead now. Yeah. Blown up in the gigantic volcanoes of Africa. Deader than, like... Wesker and RE5 was killed in such a way that's like, they're going to have to make up some serious bullshit to bring him back. Well, when you told me that Ripley throws herself in molten lead, but then they found a way to bring her back, well, you know, anything. Oh, I fucking hate this part. With Wesker gone, there is no good RE villain anymore. That's right. There's none. They'll have to make a new one, and guess what? It's going to be awful. I don't believe they can do it good. That's what I think. What was the name of the Kentucky Fried Chicken guy from RE6? The guy in the Simmons. white suit. Simmons? Yeah. You actually remember that? Yeah. Holy crap, that's amazing. Look at all these dudes that are totally going to bust through the window. No, they're not. What are you talking about? You're they're, crazy. They, dude, they're busting through my window. You're, you're crazy. My love window. I can't believe you remember that guy's name. You don't remember Damnation if you remember that guy's name. Well, they say his name a lot. Uh, to be fair, I only played Leon's campaign. This this is something that was was taken out of future games and it's one of my favorite things is like umbrellas like windows well of course it's gonna be taken out okay. in future games yeah but like I love it because one look there's clearly a hunter down there oh, wait. and B there's, there's a report on Hunk look right there no what you mean to say is that they should have had tri-cell computers I, it's just some, just like games. just like weirdly ghetto computer stuffs yeah but it will look ridiculous nowadays yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it would. that's what and, you want yeah that's what I want <laughs> They're, they're Get those useless acid rounds. They're bow gas rounds. They're bow gas. It's fart gas you rounds. Remember fart gas in RE2? I do. How do you, you fill the entire building with fart gas? <laughs> do you remember that? Yeah. You should! I do. Fart gas everywhere. Uh, was it also in the later half of this game, I believe, in Antarctica? No, it's still in Rockford where you get those weird random zombies that have red glowing eyes. That and is correct. Kind of black. Do and you they remember explode. what they were? What, like, was there ever a file on No, them? they glow. Their eyes glow. That's it? Yeah. Okay. They're evil. Yeah. Like Crimson Heads, they taught you all about Crimson Heads. Yeah, best thing never happened to the series. That never got put yeah. back. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, man. We're coming up on the coolest part in the entire game. He's on his I, lo- I Love Cupid. What are you doing here? <laughs> I love Cupid. Chris Redfield. <gasps> is he a relative of yours or something? No, is he's a fucking badass. Ah. Your siblings. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> They're looking at Chris. So when she says, "I Chris will save me," he just freaks his shit. Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. That's the coolest part in the whole game. It is cool. Cause she mentions that Leon is out there doing, doing dirt. Stuff. He is doing dirt for the president right now. Mm. Why don't you say your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Yeah, he's Thanks, gonna, I will. He's gonna lose it. Hey. I I, I adore when wait, a, wait, wait. when a character's really dickish, sarcastic suggestion becomes the actual plan. Wait, watch, watch. No way. <laughs> he won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. <laughs> that is so. You're Hold on. <laughs> this is so Japanese soap opera. It really is. Right? Oh! Shut up, Claire. Your brother is a hub idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it just runs off. I remember even in the book, the novel, the, no- the author's like, why the fuck is this character freaking out this hard? Oh, it's so stupid. She writes it and she's like, oh, God, I can't believe I gotta put this in the fucking book. Everything is fucking stupid. So isn't it like his dad, he's got some dad issues or something? Yeah, his dad's an asshole. Yeah, his dad's an an Umbrella employee. Yeah, his dad's a jerk and he, like, did some dirt. And Umbrella was like, well, you and your family are going to jail now. And we're gonna (laughs) use, we're gonna use you as mutants. Yeah. And he's like, nice. And he's like, "Mm." (laughs) mmm. Wow, I really shouldn't have stole those Umbrella mugs. And then at the part of the game that we're not gonna do, because that's far... Yeah. He sees his dad about to eat Claire, and he waits until the absolute goddamn last second. Last second. And so I'm gonna just use this, and I know it's not optimal, but fuck it! Right. This, this game is super hard. It's Well, also, I have no plans of playing this past the hour or so that we're going to. Uh, because 
I have my own version at home. And, and then he shoots his dad, and then again he freaks out and runs off. And, and he goes, goes, no, daddy! He didn't say daddy. Yeah, he says daddy. Oh, God, I bet you're right. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, daddy. you know what he says? Daddy! He says, father! That's actually worse. Who says father? Assholes. I said my dad. Oh, look, look at this. They don't like okay, it. Okay, so this is bullshit. It is. You'll see. This is this is this is a failure of the game designer. This moment right here. Yeah. I'm gonna press this switch uh-huh. and shit's gonna happen. Yeah. Now I'm gonna run back. Why would that happen? See look. Yes. Now they're dead. Yep. But they're still alive. No, of course, like why would an explosion kill a zombie? Look, I can shoot both at once. That is pretty good. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Look it's at that. Useful. Hold on. Failure of the game designer. Uh, what? I'm gonna get this fire extinguisher now, you guys. And you're gonna be like, oh, that's why I killed all those Man, zombies. You keep that fire extinguisher in this game forever. No, you know. You, yeah, no, you, no, I don't mean like. Check this shit out! I don't mean. That's like, a key! In your inventory? I mean, like, you have to put out a fire in a library, like. Oh, you gotta put out and, tons of fires. Hours and hours and hours from now. Well, no, not that. No, I'm gonna use that fire extinguisher no, now. No, now, but. The, and I'll I, get another fire extinguisher. Yeah, later. no, it's just like a mechanic you're like, that's that you hot. Use like a zillion times. You're gonna be like, that's hot, that fire extinguisher. We're just fire. talking about the abundance of fire extinguishers in games and putting out fire. Yeah. Oh shit! Wow, you fucking owned him. Yeah, I did. Hey, I know my classic Resident Evil games, right? Right. I may not be perfect, but I will have some moments of total brilliance. There you go. Like that, because these guns can never ever be reloaded. Okay, so they are worthless. There it is way better to save your handgun rounds and shoot monsters later after running out of these what a guys. Mysterious weapon. You know, like this guy, why even bother? That doesn't even sound like gory in a body noise. That is the exact same noise they use in RE2 yeah, and RE3. No, but they sound like fapping noises. Oh, yeah, they sound like somebody's jerking off. Look at that. Look at him. I love that it's got her fucking biker logo next to her face. Yeah. Like, why? Yeah, it's pretty good. Does, does... Ah, fuck it. I'm just going to use this stupid shitty gun. Yeah, just use it. There you go. There we uh, go. Does, when you switch to Chris, or like hours from now, when you switch to Chris, does he got the Stars logo next to it? Or I, be been, I believe he does. The Stars have been disbanded at this point. Yeah, but he still flies that flag. <laughs> it's like even mm. even if like even if your country was gone, right? You still wear your flag. And you were both like, but you were like, man, I love my country. You'd still fly that flag. What country is the Stars from? It no longer exists. But it was pretty cool, though, yeah. when it happened. Uh, there should really be another Resident Evil light gun shooter, but it takes all of the, the shitty made-up novels. Oh, yeah, Calvin Cove. Calvin Cove, Cove and Underworld. Calvin Cove, the light gun shooter. And Underworld. I have a briefcase now. And you read Underworld, but I, don't, I did not. Ugh. And you are like, don't read Underworld, dude. Don't. Don't read. There's no... Ugh. <laughs> Oh, because you got to examine it. The problem with the first novel is got such a rad fucking cover. Yeah, that's the that's the problem with the first number, uh, the uh, first novel is that it's rad. <laughs> like, what a no, mysterious world no, we live in. No, the cover. In. The problem is the cover is so good, but the book's not. You're just buy. You like bought. I'm like, we'll do this cover. Man, this may not was... be spooky, but I I think it's my favorite game we played this entire thing. Oh no, not at all. You mean you'd rather play this than Outlast? I have not played Outlast since the beginning. But what I mean is, if you weren't such a baby... I miss tank controls, okay? If you weren't such a baby and you wouldn't, couldn't so, play no, Outlast actually, alone... You know what? I think, I think I'm think i going to out myself here and, right. and find out that when really brutally hardcore survival horror games started to come out, I found out that... I'm not, I like survival horror just fine, right? Please tell me I got rid of that. Okay. <laughs> I like survival horror just fine. But yes. what I really love is horror-themed games. So, Clyde Barker's Jericho. Shut up. I'm just giving yeah. you an example. That being said, survival horror is awesome. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. No, I like survival horror. All right, calm down now. Pure horror is a little much. Don't, don't you have a manifesto where you can Action horror is pretty good, but only when it's RE4, Dead Space 1 and 2. See, now they're, now they're all butt-mad, right? They they're like all like, mm, I'm going to get in there. Gotta get in that ass. You're like, what? No. Oh, no. That being said, there's a couple of games we did not play in the shitstorm that I have 
that I did not think we were going to play because they were so bad and I played them for an hour. And you were like... couldn't find any horror. You, you were like, fuck this life. So people... Fuck this joke, yeah. People are asking for it, but Extermination on the PS2... It's terrible! It fucking... The controls were horrible. You keep falling into shit. You have to do all this platforming. You know what I don't yeah, want to do? Yeah, that's why we played Rise of Nightmare yesterday. Yeah, I know. Because of it's such good controls. Anyway. Way to, way to get... I, how? Nice. Oh, the lighter. Always with that lighter. Uh, no, the reason we played Rise and Animators is because the horror starts right away. Yeah. Now you're locked into that upload schedule. Yep. You can't change it now. Yep. I win. Actually, you said it from the start. Yeah, I did. You mentioned it. I so, did do that. So you locked us yeah. in. Yeah. We're all locked well, in. Well, I double locked us in. We're all, <laughs> hey. It's okay, Matt. What is this thing? Just like, this? Okay. So this, I, I, yeah, I just realized that I'm doing the puzzle without even mentioning the puzzle. I need this crest. Right, of course. But it's in a room that, that you can't is bring otherwise metal detector. barred and it has a metal detector. So I'm using this alloy coffee machine using a non-magnetic uh, alloy so it doesn't trip off the metal detector. Yeah. I don't know why Umbrella would build this in such a way. Oh, but... it's dumb. And... Oh, that was unexpected. Yeah. Yeah, and now... You should probably get your weapons. Well, my weapons are on the other thing. Oh, fuck. The, this section is... Get the fart gas rounds. This, this section is required to be done with no weapons. And because of this, I'm not even going to bother picking these up because I'm not going to get the grenade launcher for, like, the entirety of this demo. Well, demo. <laughs> our demo of our... Of our yeah. And so, it's weird how few of them come in, considering how many there are. The amount of crashes you heard. Yeah. So, I hope I have enough room for We're all this 74%. stuff. We're at 74%. Yeah, 74%, you, you, you ch chum. Yes, good, awesome. You chum lorry. Kim, killing it. Yeah, I'm killing it. Killing it. Killing it over uh, here. We're all falling apart. We're all, the shitstorm's been hard on us. Not really, it's actually been the most easiest one by far. The most easiest one of two. Oh, no, but I'm, I'm lumping it together with WrestleMania. WrestleMania, WrestleMania was way harder. Uh, but when we do, uh, Christmas Storm... Oh, shut up! In December! <laughs> Don't you fucking dare mention what Christmas a... Storm! That was a secret! <laughs> that was a secret plan that I'm, we had! I'm laughing at you just saying Christmas Storm. Yeah, Christmas Storm's pretty good. So, I shouldn't even fight these guys, because who cares? Like, there's three Christmas-themed games ever. I there's, bet. uh, there's that Metal Gear Solid one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mary Gear Solid's called. <laughs> and then there's uh, the Night More Before Christmas PS2 game, which is like a DMC clone. It has a Christmas clone. level, yeah. Um, uh, but I was gonna say... It's called can... Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, that, no, I mean, that like, counts. Yeah, no, but like most of it, it's Halloween. Yeah. Uh, wow. We should have played that. You can see the filter you they can. put on. Why not? I didn't know there was one in CVX. You gotta make it. So this is one of the screens they put out a screenshot of. And I, we're yeah, like, I, yeah, and I we're like, Whoa! And you were like, whoa, that lighting is lighting. It's not baked in garbage Dreamcast shit. I remember when they showed screenshots of the re of remake, and they showed in one of the basement, like the, the basement or like whatever, uh, lean up to like Lisa Trevor's rooms or whatever. And, it, and the IGN screenshot for it, like the little caption, because they put captions on every screenshot. They love it. They put, look at the bricks. Yeah. Because the brick texture looks so amazing with like Dude, the lighting Dude, our whatever. remake looks so good. We should play that someday. <sighs> we did. We never played it. I we know. Did. It's just because I was reading That was last year's pseudo finale to the some, shitstorm. Some comments were like, they should really play System Shock 2 on the shitstorm. The way we did that. We did that, guys. We did that last we year. That. And then that game's super hard! It's super scary. Remember we were surprised how scared we were? This, okay, so this this room was purpose-built to show off this. Because for if the you gun, aim, yes, it exactly. immediately does that. Why Why wouldn't this room be built for this? It's built... She looks kind of dumb doing it. Built for the, it's built for the dual-fisted What just Jogos. happened? Did that just, just, His hat fell off. Oh, man. I was like, did his head blow like, off? Like, look at all these areas where it's there's two guys standing next to each other. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, look at the Jogos. Only the computation power of the Dreamcast can make this possible. Uh, and then look, his hat flies off. It looks so dumb. This That room, the room that you can never get to, yeah. to the right of that, is the coolest thing in all of Resident Evil. Because uh, one of the T-100s comes out, and he's got cool, like, yeah. mace hands. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And he's the coolest one. And there's dogs here. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
touch. You know, there is one thing that I really like about CVX. Don't want to touch it. Uh, and there is the fact that they reuse uh, Resident Evil 2 and 3 sound effects almost entirely. Yeah, considering this is actually made by like, com- uh, like a different developer, right? Uh, I don't think it was made by a different developer. I think it was just No, no, it was team. still made by Capcom, but that's what I yeah. mean. Like, flag- I got the Navy proof, you shit. It was a flagship, wasn't you got it? A, you guys, I got a Navy. In the Navy. What's that? Where, where, where? It's the bugs. Bugs don't make that noise. Yeah, they do. That, that, that was them singing. In the Navy. It was Flagship, wasn't we'll it? That up. made zero? Flagship was a weird tertiary company. It's really weird. Everything about the Resident Evil development cycle is fucking bizarre. Uh, for so, all the old games. So Flagship is responsible for all, all of RE Zero's enemies being fucking animals and bugs. RE Zero is so bad. Billy it was, like, the weirdest letdown I've ever seen. But Billy ever. Cohen is my favorite character. Billy Cohen is, almost saves it. Almost he saves almost it. saves it. Look what they did to the water. That water is not the same. Yeah, that can't that be That water looks same. super good. Can't There's no the way the Dreamcast had super good water. The Dreamcast would, like, just barf out tea biscuits if it... If it could tea try. virus biscuits, tea more virus like it. Tea virus biscuits. If See you what tried, I did there? If you tried to make it render that water oh. in real life. It's a nice. They trade. They treated Code Veronica nice. And then you get to this place, and then it's like, oh yeah, it's starting. What a. Man, what a mansion. It's actually kind of shitty compared. And that that specific oh, noise so is, is very Resident Evil too. It's the most Resident Evil too. Da, da, da. But. This soundtrack in particular is more like Resident Evil 1 than it is Resident Evil 2. And that's yeah, a shame. Right. Because Resident Evil 2's soundtrack is amazing. I had it on a CD for a while. Um, like, you know, I know there's people saying, oh, shut up, Pat. Yeah. It's a fucking horror game from 1998. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Go listen to f- some... Go listen to Police Station Hall music mm-hmm, on YouTube. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go listen to some of that RE2 soundtrack. It's fucking awesome! No, I don't know why one would want to, like, repeatedly listen, like, when you're, like, doing work, because it's, it's creepy music. Yeah, oh, it's creepy, but it's, like, considering it's Halloween right yes, now, yes, it's if fun. you want to put on some spooky music so that uh, the girls get scared. Or, if you're taking a lady back to your place, you want to play some music, play this theme. <laughs> save room theme. Save room theme! Girls, safe in here. <laughs> It's safe and warm. It's safe and warm. I know somewhere else that's safe and warm that I would like to go and visit. My fridge. It's your... What? (laughs) Uh, So I'm going to ditch this now because it takes up two slots. Yeah. I have 30 bowgun arrows, which are total garbage, but later you you can tip them with explosiveness. That's, That's bullshit. It's such bullshit. You're super right. But it's the best weapon in the game. How many conventions have we seen about how to save in other games? What do you mean? Like, in Fatal Frame, it's a little lantern you go up to. We played something else in the shitstorm where you were like... Kuan, it's a little gravy boat that you pour gravy on your tits. Yeah, exactly. And then there was another one you were like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. I forget what it was. It was a radio or something. You go up to a radio. What's that radio? What's that radio? Yeah, and then you... Chewing gum. Then you push this aside and you're like, mmm... What do we got here? Junior. What do we got here? We got an employee DID card? Yeah, we do! Yeah! I work for Umbrella. You can tell by this card. I'm probably a huge asshole. I sure hope everyone in this house isn't obsessed with bugs. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I hope everyone's not obsessed with incest and bugs. <laughs> Bug incest. It's so weird that, like, all the creepy romance in this entire series is always between siblings. I mean, there's a lot it's of so it. so fucked there's up. A lot of or it. family. Like, Birkin, more or less, fucks Sherry in yeah. RE2 with Mons... Well, I should probably... You, you know what? probably look at that I should card. probably look at this card. You should probably check it. Let's check it real good. Oh, oh yeah! Look at that cool guy! That looks like what? James cool. Astor. Yeah. Uh, NTC 0394. Well, I'm not going to remember it. NTC 0394. NTC 0394. Oh, if, Matt, oh, I'm God. losing the ability N- to use speech. NTC 0394. Watch it be an O instead. Yeah, my. Fucking umbrella. <laughs>
ID verified. Oh yeah. Oh wait, we gotta wait to see if it works. Listen to this. Listen to this beautiful noise. Yeah. This beautiful sound effect. Oh, I love that shit. That that's the sound of progression. Oh, I love it. It's uh, Matt. You are on the ball today. Cause you're <laughs> super right. Cause you hear that, like that super thunking lock noise. Oh, jeez, that was and scary. Whoop. Got to equip my lighter. You equip the Get lighter, the, shit away. the bats fuck off. They're bats like, don't like it. They're like, I don't want none of that. If Batman comes up to you, just shove a lighter in his face. Yeah, he's like, mm, I don't, mm. it's like not a big fan. My, my, my uh, mom had a lighter when she died. Oh, Six out of ten. Game of the okay. Oh. 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 No, Batman. That being said, no. I have a sealed copy of Origins. For what? Lana, Lana didn't want her copies, so she gave it to me. <laughs> for what? For testing Batman or No! Origins. What's it for? For 60. Thank you. Well, why would I keep it if it wasn't? Uh, you're right. As so, long as it was PS3, I'd be like, hey, guy. Oh. I'd be like, hey, girl. Arkham Origins. Oh, it's not so good. Oh. Wow. How oh, my God. Yeah, you kind of did a little quick one. I'm, I'm kind of... Mystified that I got that. Oh wow, his buddy helped me. Yeah. No, they they work together. So by killing the first, I don't know, fifty zombies with this with this knife, Save quite you a dramatically level. unbalance the entire game. And the game's like, wait, wait, what? How did because you? Because you, because then you what? have handgun ammo that you can use to deal with enemies that you shouldn't have ammo for. Shit's locked. And then you have like shotgun ammo and grenade launcher. Oh. oh! <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. I cannot also believe that. <laughs> Look at this spider on the spider! It neck. has been years since Resident Evil got me. Congratulations, well, Resident Evil. Well, it's because we're busy talking. Imagine if you're playing this regular. And I would talking. not have run straight into a blind corner. Mm. But, you know, I'm an idiot. Oh, that cool tank. Look at it. I'm getting so much handgun ammo. And you know what I'm doing? 134. Not 154 bullets plus the 15 in the gun. You know what I'm not doing? With this big dork room. Shooting any of it? Did you say look at this big dork room? Yeah. With bugs everywhere. That implies that it's like the kind of room that dork girl would create. No, just a regular dork. Hey, let's look at some imp heavily implied incest. Yeah, I love it. Do you? No. Okay. Just like my Japanese anime. Yeah, it's just like... Oh, oh hey, cat. There's a cat. The cat is on video now. He's not, but you can hear that he's in the room by I'm him not I'm now noise. going to pet the cat. Oh, no, he ran away. No, because he knows that there's incest coming oh, up. Oh, shit. He he's like, go. I'm out of here. <laughs> I may be a pussy, but I'm not right. I'm not staying around for this. Man, this shit's the worst. I'm out. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these creepy sibling fuck eyes. Yeah, look at that no, shit. It's, it's not great. You see any brother and sister look at that, them each other like that, you gotta be like, mm, mm, not gonna. I be, hope they're twins. Not gonna be friends with your. But they guys. are twins. Twins, Basil. Uh, I just love how everyone hates Alfred. He's the worst. He he. What? Well, to be fair though, he was made to be detested. He was totally made to be. Detestable. And Alexia was made to be cool, and it totally works because Alfred's a detestable shit for most of the game. And then you run into Alexia, and Alexia's like the fucking coolest chick ever. And Alfred's all like, geez, like, you gave me all the flawed, recessive genes. And then Wesker just Kung Fu Matrix punches everyone. Yeah. I've... Oh, there's a lot of fart gas. There's literally fart gas. I am dying of fart gas inhalation, you guys. So I'm going to immediately put these back. Which, this is a little bit of an homage. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Now you want to take them back. Yeah, there we go. This is an homage to the shotgun room. Yes, of course. In Resident Evil 1. Where... See, that's clearly a two-man job. So then you might need some other type of Lugers to just shove in there. I might. I might. I hope some shitbag might help you. I hope some shitbag might help me. <laughs> Chris, Let me run. Chris, just run in circles. Oh, you can't do that. You should have played uh, Lifeline. I should have... Oh, my God. Did you see that video of a guy doing playing Lifeline with racist accents? No, I did not. Okay, so you, when you play Lifeline, it cannot detect like a normal like American or Canadian or you know standard 
Midwest accent, right? Yeah. But if you if you start like saying words like with a racist Asian accent, the game goes okay, <laughs> great, because it must have been calibrated to for, be that to be was, in English when they were from a Japanese it. guy. Yeah, it's no, just like come course. on, guys. That that takes some ingenuity to it, figure that it, out. Please tell me I got yeah I did okay. Because I was I, I mentioned Lifeline because I was watching a video of Sean Baby playing it. Yeah. And he's, and he's like, why am I playing this? No, he's playing, I'm Sean Baby, motherfucker. No, he's playing it, and he goes just like, ah, oh, just, and he says something, and then it, it triggers it, and she goes, small dog? <laughs> or big dog? <laughs> woof, woof. And they go, what the fuck was that? And they're like, ah, oh, just, whatever. They're like going, cat, kitty cat. What does a kitty cat the sound like? The magic of lifeline. And she doesn't say anything, and they're like, ah, oh, just shut up, just get down on all fours. And then the character goes, by the bed. Okay. And the character starts walking to the bed, and they're like, wait, what? Lifeline. What it, a mysterious Jogo. Lifeline Jogo. is the m most mysterious Jogo. Not and if you called it a Jogo, it would probably show you porn. <laughs> You'd be like, what? I considered getting Lifeline, but I was like, no. It's no. a waste of money and time. Yeah. You know what that video would have been? It would be a connect It would have been 40 minutes of us going... Dicks. Good. Go. And then it doesn't work. Yeah. There's only one time where you say, stomach, mouth, head. There we go. <laughs> and if everyone... Steve's, like, death is supposed to be... Ooh, spoilers. Uh, is supposed to be portrayed as a tragedy. Yes. Like but you hate tragedy. him. You hate him the whole game. Yeah, but in Japan, when they, they voice cast the characters, they don't know that. Uh oh, shit's going down. Shit got super raw. All of a sudden. Like, Steve is supposed to be the regular, like, Japanese or American kid gamer. Right? I am so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve is suffering. There's a message. Yeah, let's operate. How about no? <laughs> what? That was dumb bullshit. <laughs> Decide. You sunk my battleship. Do so something. Here, here's what you do. You look at the stuff. Like, there are knives, guns. and guns, and a plane, and a tank, and a submarine. Two magnums, Bug. and an ant. What are those camel spiders? Fuck yeah, that. Yeah, camel spiders are bullshit. Wait, did, did I just fail? Steve is suffering. Okay. <laughs> when two pairs complete. Oh, this is dumber than I th than I thought it was. I can't wait for you to accidentally fuck this up and let's No, because die. what this is is put the two vehicles together. Right? There's no response. And then put the two guns together. That's it. That's the entire puzzle. So it's E and C and that'll be it. Cuz the knife and the ant don't go together. There's no, no. response. Hmm. Are you serious? What's happening? What's happening? It seems like F. you don't know what you're doing. It, it, you know what? I'm shocked because I must have totally forgotten this puzzle. And Steve is suffering. <laughs> I told you you're going to accidentally fuck this up. And I put accidentally in quotes. Damn it. Damn it. Look at this shit again. No, hold on. B and D. Damn! Just brute force There's a it. message on the control. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. So what do we got? Knives. Knives and guns. Let's try knives and guns. Okay. Steve is suffering. Yeah, he's he'll live forever, though. So, F and E? No, not F. Oh, shit. F and A. <laughs> Shut up. I can do it. Let's try F and A. No, it doesn't want to. This is, this is ridiculous. Like, my brain has totally failed me because I've done this puzzle before. So there we go. Two guns, I guess. Two guns. Oh. oh, because it's the two Lugers. Oh, jeez. Good job, Pat. You saved Steve. Oh, I need those. <laughs> I need that. I found it, not keeping it. This, this game... Is the most is the game most dialed into weird Resident Evil logic? It really is. I think you're right. Because because the Ashfords were nuts. The Ashfords are nuts. Super nuts. And the the reasoning for this architecture is that they were totally insane. And there are characters saying, "Give me that item." Yeah. And he yeah. just runs away. She lets him. 
Thanks for, like, saving me from suffering, by the way. It's baffling, dude. It is baffling. Not great. All right. Let's, 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 let's shove my wheel into that submarine. Man, that room was forever ago. I'm, I'm, I'm hiccuping. That was outside the thing. Oh! Oh, oh the star! I don't even want to talk over his dialogue. Oh, oh. Fucking Kefka. There's no improvement that can be made to his dialogue. No, no, not at all. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers. Remember the old legendary? Hold on, he's gonna freak out. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he did. Is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. <laughs> what a fucking huge show. I hate him. I hate him. He should come back as the main army villain. That would be awesome. <laughs> that because he just he just he um he falls off a cliff. And then it assumes he dies, and then later Alexei is like cradling his dead body. Yeah. But they could just say, and then he injected himself with the F with virus. Anything. And ran away, and because he is so nuts. Yeah. Like he would be a perfect antagonist. He didn't have a uh, like a definitive death. Because he he is a cartoon villain. Yeah. No. Like the most cartoon. He he like whereas uh, early Umbrella is like a cartoon villain company. Yes. Like at Alfred is just. R ridiculous. <laughs> and, and I remember this game and this scene was like one of the very first things I ever saw that was really good on Newgrounds. Or was Co uh, Flash Veronica X or whatever by Legendary Frog. Yes, Legendary Frog. And it was Frog. really, really good. <laughs> and that that was my introduce, introduce, introduction. Introduction to the world of internet comedy. Yes, it was. Um, Legendary Frog, I hope he's like... His name is Joseph Blanchett. I hope he's still alive. I hope he's still alive. I hope he's listening to this. And I hope he hears that. I think you're super cool, man. Make more Flash animation. You probably have a real job. That no, was like probably, 15 years it ago. It was 15 years ago. <laughs> but you, I think you were cool. And my favorite video was Kerrigan and the Muffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where Kerrigan. It, was just, it was just this cute little girl character. And she talked to a muffin. It was For, adorable. Like, the entire animation. Yeah. I'm not cool. Oh, oh, oh. Is it a basketball? Is it a brick? <laughs> no! It, no, is it a wallaby? No! It's a muffin! <laughs> and I was just like, oh, that muffin's so cute! It's the cutest. I, yeah, I was in a weird place in my life. Muffins would bring anyone joy. I, dude, muffins are great. I was hanging out, I, I went to visit my parents yesterday, and I'm hanging out. My mom's like, hey, you want a muffin? I'm like, yeah, I do! Yeah, my mom was Muffins like, are rad! Oh, side pack! It's the best. You get this side pack so early. Relatively compared to all the others? Yeah. Look how early I got the side pack. You got it right now. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, I've been playing, been playing for 52 minutes. Side pack. That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to just fade to black. That's Port weird. ruined. Port good. Get my refund for this free Now this game. is where the game gets super weird. Because you get in a little submarine and you go to a totally different area. Yeah, and it like docks in this weird... Like, yeah, it docks you in this weird underwater base. I hope you get to fight And you're the, like, what is this fucking G.I. I Joe? I hope you get to fight the Albanoid. The Albanoid is like 10 hours from now, even though I speed run it. I'm just talking... We're I'm not like, going to fight the Albanoid, Yeah, man. but I want to talk about the Albanoid. Yeah, okay, let's talk about the Albanoid. So, me and a friend were playing this... And we kept reading. I'm sure this is the same thing for you. There are a bunch of notes in the game saying, Whoa, the Albanoid's the fucking craziest shit! We shouldn't have made this thing. It's so over the top! It's so evil! <laughs> and then it's some fucking headless... It's a it's a tadpole. headless electric salamander, which is the, that, wor the that's worst... human size. The worst boss in Resident Evil history. Because it psychs you up so hard, thinking it's going to be the coolest boss and then, ever. And then the entire boss fight can be skipped. Yes, it can. Skipped. Just walk right past I it. I am not making... Wow, that is disorienting. Not great. Come on, Ari. Look at all those I am now fish. coming up on 200 handgun bullets. Yep, you're reaching it. 
I'm gonna reach it. Yeah! See? He doesn't like it. That's gotta be a bug, right? Because it hits once, but it counts as like six. Well, combos in Street Fighter were bugs. They were like, this should not have been. This should not be. We should fix this because it's so bad. And then somebody who was smart said, don't fix it. Probably some American Just guy. leave it in. Just leave it don't, in. Yeah, just leave. Probably. Yeah, oh, look geez. at this cool shit. I should have gone through the other door. I'm gonna go through forever. the other door. Yeah, just leave it in. Anyway. See, uh, was it Aki Man or was one of the guys who made SF2 was on Twitter recently talking about SF2? Yeah, it was Aki He's saying, Man. he was like, originally there, everyone had different defense values and the game like broke them and it didn't work. But so then we realized that it would be bullshit if they worked. So we just left it broken. <laughs> oh, fucking bats. I forgot the bats. Why has it always got to be bats? I forgot these bats was here. Why has it got to be like that? Batman, why are you such a stupid shit oh, ass? God, I hope that's not Batman. Shit, Batman, why are you such a stupid shit ass? You, you fucking freaking zoid. You imagine fighting Batman and you're like, Batman, did you shit your pants? He's like, no! Man, Batman, your game is like pizza. I'm the knight. You better not drop those pizzas, you hear? What does that mean? What? I keep seeing that quote says Batman oh. games are like pizza. IGN said Batman games are like pizza. Even if they're not good, they're wow, look at pizza. Look at this lighting. It That's so good. super good. Batman games are a lot like pizza. They're still... They could not be great, but they're still pizza. So you'll still eat it. That's a really good analogy, actually. It's actually pretty good. Because there, there are times... When we're, like, ordering food, and all of us, like, we could order good food, but pizza would be here in five minutes, and, uh, pizza. So it's almost like this is a fast, convenient food that just does what it does. Yeah. So, yeah. I, and I it got to you in 30 minutes or less. Yes. Which, in video game equivalents, is the yearly sequel. It really is. This all, man, this whole thing just comes together perfectly. This is nuts. Let's just do it. I'm going nuts. Let's I'm going do nuts. Let's do it. I'm going nuts. Where are you supposed to go? Uh, you're supposed to hit this button. And except that's way happens. later. That's like end game. End game crawl. End game. He door. should change his name to that. Yeah, right, right. It right. sucks that we don't see end game uh, and end guy crawl anymore. I thought you were gonna say end gauge. End gauge crawl. <laughs> this is all ridiculous, man. He's like a super like classy version of a Triforce. Oh man. Oh, um, don't compare N Guy Kroll to Triforce. I'm not. I just said he's a classy version of him. No way. No, just because our Triforce is just like I got my my power pad, my power glove. Man, fuck Triforce. And then a, a, N Guy could have the End Game strapped. Incredibly to his face. controversial stance of fuck Triforce fuck Johnson. Fuck Triforce? Oh, Justin. <laughs> so controversial. <laughs> uh, did you see that? Remember Leah was telling us on the podcast. How Triforce just said, check uh, Nintendo's YouTube account tomorrow. Shit's they gonna be happen. real, no Nothing happened. Oh. Did, so here's the question, right? Shit. Did Triforce make that up? Or did his brain make it up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, was he there and he thought he saw Star Fox? Or did he actually not see it and just... Like, say that, hey, Star Fox. He probably saw nothing. Yeah, he probably just... He saw a fox. Like, on a street. He saw yeah, the animal. Yeah, and he was like, well, Star Fox is coming. And then he saw, like, a falcon in the yeah. sky. Oh, spooky! And then a frog went by him. He's like, Star Fox confirmed. Oh. So here's what you do with these guys. This, this is actually a bunch of nah, dudes. You want to I'm going them. to shoot them. Probably should shoot them. So what I do like is that... Uh, the, the hats fall off. No, and this is a really specific detail that I'm sure people will call me crazy or anal for, for knowing. Please go. Uh, Claire sh uh, shoots at the speed that Ada shoots in RE2. Okay. Because in RE2, her and Leon have the same shot speed, and it is both slower than Ada. Because Ada is a fucking secret agent, and she is better at shooting. So, the sequence that you play Ada with, yeah. she's better than the other two characters. Okay. But now, because it's later, Claire is now that good. She's now at Ada tier. And that's why in the opening cutscene, she's doing all sorts of, like, Mission Crazy Impossible shit. Matrix yeah. shit. Look at this biohazard card. Biohazard. I can use this at the military training facility. You mean in RE0? Mm. It's always called the training facility. Let's get into the magic elevator. 
That being said, I really like Marcus and and Ari Zero. Uh, Marcus is villain. at least a decent antagonist, and he has reasons for being a dick. Yes, he totally does. And the reasons are, and, yo, Birkin and Wesker are assholes. And the cutscene of Birkin and Wesker fucking blowing his ass uh, away is the best. I forget. I, I, I remember uh, a friend of mine from Japan, uh, a guy named Shu. He described the the plot of Resident Evil Zero in the best way possible. Basically broke it down. It's it's you and it's it's the stars D team. Yes. Like fighting apes yes. while Birkin and Wesker have the lamest Saturday night known to man. Because <laughs> <laughs> they spend the entire time watching, watching TV, just in some little bunker watching you on TV. <laughs> So lame. It's basically they're running the Truman Show, oh, but with so... Rebecca and Billy. Ari Ciro is so bad, and we were fooled because it has the R- the remake graphics, right? And the train sequence is good, but after the train, the train sequence, sequence is good, and after the, and then you find a giant scorpion, and it's all downhill from yeah, there. Yeah, well, you f- I found that scorpion. I was like, that's fine. But yeah. Then when, every, when the okay, when it, it was it, when the the second boss was a fucking just a centipede. No, it was a bat. No, that's not the second boss. Yeah, it that's is. That's like the third, fourth boss. No, no, it's the second boss. No, dude, tr- dude. Okay, we'll look it up later. The, Maybe the, you're the right. bat you fight halfway through the game. The second boss is like a fucking centipede, and you're like, is that a fucking centipede? It's a big centipede. And then other an- an- enemies are just like ants and shit. And you're like, like, it can be a centipede, but why can't it be a gross mutant centipede? Yeah. Why is it just a big centipede? Ugh, because. Yeah. That's like 1950s, like, Attack of the Giant Centipede woman. I forget where to go. Holy shit. <laughs> check your map. I'm going to check this map. Wow, this map's useless. This map is, uh... It's oink, not... Oink, oink, I need... Oink, oink. Oh! That's where I was. Oink, and that's oink. where... Oink, oink. Airport? What the? Yeah. Oh, right. Dangerous. Palace. 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 Whoop, whoop. Palace. Palace. That's the door. Yeah. The palace? Yeah. No, I remember now. Why I know stuff. Ca- why is it called the palace? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a fucking prison. It's a palace. I just remembered. I just remembered what's gonna be there when I go through that door. And it's one. And it's something that makes me hate. I remember what it is. It's something that makes me hate CVX. I remember what they are. I fucking hate this. I fucking yeah! hate this! This is the best! The fucking grave digger! No, shut up, idiots! Graboids! No, it's not! It's the Look at the graboids! Oh, it's a graboid! Oh, fuck this! <laughs> fuck this! No! That's yeah! enough! I'm done! I love graboids! That is the worst enemy in Resident Evil history! Oh no, it's an ape! Fuck that! <laughs> That's gonna go away now! <laughs> it's over! T-shirts, get your T-shirts here. Every T-shirt you buy makes Pat grow in size and anger. Get your T-shirts.